Hello everybody and welcome to a new vlog on the 29th, no 29th, the 31st of Gen uh, December, get it right in a minute, 24, last day of 2021. Me and my daughter have just been to B&M, if you can see over there, there's Michaela there. We've been looking for a new um, uh, drying up board for when I do the washing up. Sadly now we're in town, had any, so we had to come out here to B&M, uh, see if they had any. Um, Excuse me, looking like a mess. Um, now, we can manage to get one, but not one where you put your knives and forks on and spoons as well. We had to get that separately. So that cost a bit, but I'll show that a bit later on. We're just on our way to Morrison's Cath. Hopefully they've got food in there, as my daughter wants to have a treat in Morrison's Cath. So we're gonna go over to Morrison's now and see if they've got anything to eat. So we've been to Morrison's, we're now on our way somewhere else. They didn't have any, um, uh, wait, wait, stop darling. Right, come on, make sure you say thank you. Good girl. We, uh, so just crossing the road there. Uh, you see, okay, I've, still, I've not lost her yet. She's still there. <laughs> um, they didn't, the cafe was closed, it closed at four. So we're gonna go over to Audi and Spend these vouchers that I got, as you saw in the other video that I got from the churches of Derby. So we're just going to pop over there and see if we can get any dinners from over there to take home and cook up. Been to Audi now. We got a few things. Used up the ten pound voucher and a bit more. Uh, Michaela has me wrapped around her little finger. She does. I'll show you what I get when we get in. But while we was on the, uh, we've come to B and M because it's the easiest place to get the taxi to, to come pick us up from. While we were waiting, I was on the while I was on the phone to the taxi. A big fat. A big fat giant rat just ran past. <laughs> Suddenly, me, me and my daughter, we see a rat go running along there, running along there and running up that way. A big massive fat rat. Just going to wait for the text to come. We've got a pizza inside B&M. So that's what we're having tonight is a pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Are you having pizza? You can tell she's one of my children because she's absolutely nuts. I say one of my children, I only have one. <laughs> you can tell she's my child. She's completely nuts. She gets it from my mum's side of the family. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to wait for this taxi to come and then we're going to put dinner on and watch a movie and then she's going to bed. And hopefully at midnight, there are people across the road put up the fireworks. So yeah. Yeah, you're going to have food. I'm going Yeah. Yeah, I said you're going to bed afterwards, you donut. Bye. My daughter's a cannibal. She's a donut that eats donuts. I'm not a donut! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll see you when we get in and I'll show you what we got with the shopping from Morrison's, B&M and Audi. I'll show you what we got yesterday, uh, today. Picked this up yesterday. My daughter really likes dinosaurs, so it's a dinosaur beaker for her. Cost her uh, 99p. Yeah. And then I got myself this coffee mug. See, you see, tea mug. So I can take it out with me if I want to cup, take a cup of tea with me or a cappuccino with me. I can take it out with me. Okay. So that's what we got yesterday. B&M, we got these uh, Walker's Smoked Pigs in Blanket Crisp. It's a six pack, no, five pack for a pound, limited edition. Got some cheese savouries, because both me and my daughter love cheese savouries. And I got myself a new washing up rack, and one for nice and forks as well. The washing up rack, I think, was six pounds, and the one to put the cutlery in was two ninety nine. It's going to be quite used to putting all my cutlery in one thing, because usually I have... It was a plastic one like this and it had one, two, three holders and it used to be spoons and forks and knives and that's why I've always had it for the last 10 years I think so ever since I moved to my flat in Hastings but now I'm, got, I'm going to have to try and get used to it this way also yesterday, I forgot to say, yesterday I also picked one of these two up which I also got from Poundland a little uh, pastry brush for when I'm cooking pastry 
Oh, I can put some sausage rolls in for the little one, so I can put a little oil on top so it don't get too crispy. And this to put all my sponges and that in to uh, help it keep cleaner. I think this is about one twenty nine in the nine in, in one below. I think it's called. And my new tin opener arrived from eBay. My one broke, and incidentally, my mum's one broke as well. So I got one for myself from eBay, and I bought another one for my mum off eBay. I don't like the other tin. I like these ones where you can just stab, 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 <laughs> stab it in the tin. You're having a frustrating day, and stab it in the tin. <laughs> so yeah, it's also got like a corkscrew in there as well, and of course a bottle opener as well. So yeah, they're pretty cool. It was one ninety nine each, and free delivery and post. My mum, me and my mum both received it on the same day, so. Well, happy with that. We got these. This is a post office set that my daughter really wants. She has one at her grandma's, but she said this one looked better. With working scales, uh, stamp, pen and pencil, slips, um, cards, and whatever magazines I think they're meant to be. With more money. Uh, she has more money. She has a lot of toy money. If she had as much real money as she has toy money, we'd be rich. So yeah, that was a £7 off. It was originally £11 and it was £7 off. So £7, £8, £9, £10. So £4. I, I couldn't say no to £4 for a post office set. And it helps her be creative. She can like, she see do her writing and do out some slips there as well. So very creative for her as well. So yeah, until it opens, a little post box to put the cards through in that. So yes, yeah, she, 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 she says she'll play with it. So I'm going to trust her. She don't play with it then I'll just get rid of it <laughs> so I'm going to set up that for up to tomorrow also got a Ferrero Rocher chocolate bar for her grandmother from my daughter to her grandmother and it's her mum's birthday soon so she likes Harry Potter she likes Snow Glow so that was quite a bit off as well I think it only cost two quid for that you can get other ones as well look you can get Professor Snape Hagrid Dumbledore and Voldemort but her mum likes Harry Potter and she likes uh, snow globes, so this video will be coming out before her birthday, but I know she doesn't watch my video, so yeah, that's from Michaela to her mum. And then for myself, I've got some mince pies, yummy yummy, can't go wrong with bits of mince pies. Uh, hot mince pie with cream, squirty cream, pouring cream, uh, some brandy sauce, whatever takes your fancy. 50p each, not bad for 50p each, so yeah, happy with that. From Aldi, uh, tomato and a snowman with a banana sticking out as a nose. Uh, that's from the adverts, and we couldn't get any carrots, there were no carrot ones. Uh, my brother fantastically got her the banana with the hat, the one, the banana plain Scrooge, and which she loves. And she said, Well, they're, they're down to 1.99 each, so I said, Oh, go on, it's you know, at a 20 pound two ten pound vouchers from the churches of Derby which I really appreciate. So thank you to big thank you to them. Um, so yeah I thought why not? Why not? And this sloth as well. One ninety nine as well. A bit of chocolate in there and a sloth teddy so yeah little uh, stick velvet hands you can stick together. So yeah she wanted that as well so I thought yeah why not? Uh, got myself some cappuccinos. They didn't have any decaf. So he's in they never do decaf. Unless it's like Tesco's or Sainsbury's or something, they never do decaf. Oh, so I'm a bit unhappy with that, but no, I could do some cheap Coke, 49p each. Then we've got this Wiltshire cured ham grating, which is Wiltshire cured British ham, roasted potatoes, and tender leeks in a creamy cheese sauce with a crunchy clabata style crumb. That's a dinner. Those are from the 7th of January, so there's one. That's a nice dinner for later in the week after Michaela goes home. And also, I've got these two chicken, ham, hock and leek pies. I do like my leeks. Leeks are one of my favourite pies. And this cost... Um, just trying to look on the receipt. Ha ha ha. £1.89. So not bad for two pies. They look really good. Hopefully they're really nice. I will taste these and let you know how they are. Some chocolate eclairs for tonight's pudding. One's rolled over. I'm guessing they're playing one rolls over, and the other one said. <laughs> yeah, one ninety nine. 
treat myself to a tiramisu dessert. I won't eat it in all. I'm not that big. I'm not that fat at all. <laughs> and so that cost um that cost one ninety nine. No, that's not bad. One ninety nine for that. So that's, yeah, that's a layer dessert made with sponge fingers and coffee sauce, topped with mascarpone, mozzarella wine, mose, and sprinkled with cocoa. So yeah, I, like, I do love I do love my tiramisu dessert. So yeah, I do that. Another dinner for later in the week: some sausage and mash. So that's another nice easy dinner to do later. All right, that's only one ninety nine. Um, got some stolen cakes. <laughs> stolen. I think it's stolen. I always say I always call them stolen cakes, <laughs> but they're stolen slices. I could have had the big ones, but I I don't want to be greedy because I don't want the big those big ones so uh, I thought I'd get a few slices instead six slices and they were only Ding! 79p yeah they're down to 79p they were, they were on uh, offer as well to so 79p and then some mashed potato some easy mash to do at some point later in the week and then of course our dinner for tonight which is some fries and some takeaway stuffed crust pizza cheese fest. So stuffed crust cheese fest. The pizza costs three pound twenty nine. Most of the boxes are squash. That's why like, it's, it's like squash. You see, all the luckily it won't open. Some of them were open, but a lot of the pizzas were squashed in Aldi, which I think is a bit of a. It's because where they're all trying to stuff them in, and I think Aldi staff should take more uh, care about stocking their food. You've got the fries as well as you saw, serves two. The fries only cost um, 145. The mash, by the way, was 75 pence. And then we've got the herb dip, which was only 49p uh, as well, so yeah. Not a bad, not a bad bit of dinner. So I've got, I've got one, two, three, four dinners for myself for later in the week. So yeah, that's good. A dinner for me and Michaela now. She's got some toys and everything all together. So yeah, it's a, a bit expensive for me, going in all three shots. But at least the uh, Audi vouchers covered most of it. So I only spent about £5 in Audi. After that, uh, I think Sainsbury's came to about 10, 11 quid, something like that. And B&M came to something like 11 quid, I think. Something like that, anyway. And then we got the tax. We walked there, but we got the taxi back because all the shopping would bring her back. And she's getting a bit tired of her legs because she done a lot of running. Bless her. So yeah, that's um, that's what we done. I'll let you know how the pizza is if I remember later. Um, because it's New Year's Eve, of course. Hopefully they'll be doing some fireworks across the road that I can watch and record for you guys. I've also asked a friend down in Ramsgate. She might be going to the fireworks display down on the beach. So I've asked her to recall them for me and send them to me if she does. Um, she done it for a fireworks night a couple of years ago, I think 2019 fireworks night, she done that for me. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we'll have two lots of fireworks video. And that friend is Karen. If you'd like to check out her video, she is a YouTuber, a very good YouTuber. Please go check out her page, subscribe, watch her videos, like and comment on her videos. And I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below so um, yeah thank you very much uh, hope you all have a great new year um, yeah yummy 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 I want this food in my tummy just a little bit burnt yeah the pizza was nice the Chips were good. Um, garlic dip was nice. My daughter enjoyed it. We had the uh, chocolate eclair each, which was really, really nice. Uh, just want to say a special thank you to my family and friends, especially the ones that have been really, really been there for me. Uh, especially Karen, who I mentioned earlier, who you can check out the channel, and also my close friend Hannah. And you can check, she's a great YouTuber as well. You can check out her channel in the description below
and yeah like comment and subscribe subscribe to our videos hit the bell notification to get all future content on both karen's and hannah's videos and speaking of hannah you can check out her dad's videos which is a uh, family vlogs brilliant brilliant videos you can check them out and i'll leave a link to that in the description below and yeah like comment and hit that bell notification to get up to date with all future of his content as well and because i mentioned both hannah and karen check out their joint video channel on youtube which again i'll leave a link in the description below so quite a few links there for you guys to go check out make sure you comment like and hit the bell notification on all the channels i've just mentioned and why i'm plugging everybody else's channels i might as well plug my own check out my gaming channel it's aj's gamings and i'll leave a link for that in the description below yeah check that out I do all different videos, your truck too, with pro mods, uh, American truck, um, train simulator videos, which I'm on my, the next one to come out is the 99th video of train, train videos and um, for train sim, and soon to be coming up to my 100th video for train sim, which will be a special long video for that one. Also, uh, train sim world 2 as well, I do on there, and there's a few past videos that I've done with WWE, WWE 2K20 uh, FIFA that I've experimented with on there uh, Township, the PC version Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Forza 4 So yeah, go check them out Hopefully in a couple of months I think it's March The new WWE 2K22 comes out And I will try and do some videos for that as well Normally I do entrance videos for them which I have to add the music to because of copyright, of course, because they don't come off the game. Um, hope, so hopefully I'll be able to do that when it comes out. I'll also, I've also got WWE 2K19 because it was on sale a couple of months back, so I thought I'd get, cause I have to get rid of 2K20, as you found out on one of my earlier vlogs. I think it's my first vlog, actually, because uh, I needed bread and milk, I think it was. And so a couple of months ago, I got 2K19 because it was going for cheap. And I might do some entrance videos for that as well. Like I said with the wrestling ones, mainly I just do entrance videos and showing off community creations. Some are my creations and my own wrestler. Some are what other people have done. I can never remember who they are, so I can't really give credit to the people that make them with the alternative costumes and that. Or oh, so I never show off other people's uh, actual creator wrestler because that'd be wrong because it's nothing to do with me. But I normally show different entrances, entrance videos, entrance coming down to the ring and that. Sometimes celebrations as well, titles, custom titles, custom outfits, what people have done. So yeah, that's all that to look forward to. I might try and get some of the 2K19 ones up. As I said, I've already got 2K20. I think I've got some 2K15 and 2K16 as well on there. In fact, I think the Triple H entrance, which was a custom entrance that I'd done with custom gear, I had his whole old... Uh, jacket from twenty from when he was Hunter Hearst Helmsley back in ninety six, and I put the crown the crown on his head as well with the skull, and done that as an entrance. I think that's my second most watched video on my gaming channel, and I think my most watched video is the Undertaker his entrance with the world title. So yeah, so I say we've got I've got a lot of content coming up on my gaming video. Hopefully I'll be able to do some more vlogs, and I. I think I've got a. I'm trying out two new Kit Kats that I've not tried before. One's a spice, a spicy orange or something like that, spiced Kit Kat, and one's with honeycomb. I've never tried either of those, so I'll do a video with that as well at some point. In the meantime, stay safe, keep safe. If you're going out, masks, hand gel, wash your hands, cough, sneeze, make sure you cover up. Make sure you clean your hands. Keep safe, everybody. And when I say mask or face shield, not including those who are medically exempt. You know, I had someone in the, I'm medically exempt. I can't breathe with them on. Ever since I got that nasty um, chest infection, I've not been able to breathe with a mask on or face shield and, and rude, angry git. When I was in the shops the other day, I went, Oi, where's your mask? Shouldn't you be wearing a mask? No, I'm medically exempt, you arsehole. Now, fuck off. Remember, not everyone 
you can't really see other people's illnesses or what they're going through so you know don't judge there are a lot of people that are medically exempt and don't like to wear the their tags or anything to say they're medically exempt because they don't want people knowing their personal business so you know show a little appreciation and i said it in a couple of videos ago if you finish with your masks don't throw them on the floor put them in the bin we don't need more rubbish on the floors you know you should be putting your rubbish in the bin anyway even my daughter she's five years old and she knows to put stuff in the bin she will hold on to any rubbish she's got if she's got any rubbish she'll hold on to it until she sees a bin so a five-year-old little girl can do it all you teenagers and adults can do it as well okay let's keep our country clean anyway enough preaching from me have a happy new year have a great 2022 i hope it's better than 2021 and 2020 and yeah just be happy keep safe and i shall see you all in the new year good for now uh, good for now <laughs> I, I swear i've not drunk today i haven't had any drink for a couple of days since christmas eve last time i had drinks christmas eve with babies but i've not had any drink since then <laughs> good night stay safe be well this should be coming up today if, it, if I can't get up today and it comes out tomorrow, then I hope you had a great night. I hope it was safe, it was fun. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And if it does go out tonight on New Year's Eve, have a great time. And I shall see you all soon. Take care, everybody, and see you soon. Bye for now. Yeah. Um... Mary, I've been thinking. Can we move the Japanese ambassador to four o'clock tomorrow?